the quotient rule. Y equals U on V, where Y is a function of X, U is a function of X, and V is a function of X. That means a change in X causes a change in Y, a change in U, and a change in V. Now what we'll do here, I'll, re I'll, take, I'll subtract Y from both sides, because Y is in fact this U on V, so that's the Y coming across and changing it to U on V. Now putting over a common denominator of V outside of V plus delta V, the V goes across to here, because it's V outside of U plus delta U, uh, minus the U times this one, right? just a simple fraction, work. And then removing the brackets, we get V U, V delta U, minus U V, what's the sign? Minus U delta V, all over V outside of V plus delta V. Now, of course, you can see that V U and U V are the same. So what happens there? They just very conveniently go out, there you go. And we get V delta U minus U delta V, or a V outside of V plus delta V. Now we want a delta X in there, so we're going to divide both sides by delta X. And I'm doing so, we're going to divide that part there. Right? I'm dividing that. And of course that becomes right, V delta U on delta X minus U delta V on delta X. All right, now taking the, the limits to both sides of this, as we did before in the product rule, and then we can split this up and saying that's the limit as V uh, times delta U on delta X minus the limit of U times delta V, delta v on delta X over this one down the bottom. Right, and then what I've done, like I did with the, the, the product rule, we'll take that, that V there and we, we put that out the front. That V there, that goes out there, and the U comes out the front as well. Right, and you can see, and what I've done here, notice this little subtle difference, right? That that um, delta V there, sorry, delta X back up here, I've changed to a delta V, because we can do the same sort of thing we did with the chain rule. As delta X goes towards zero, so will delta V go towards zero, right? Okay, so what happens now is that that simply becomes dy dx. This is v, and that, of course, is du dx minus u dv dx. And, of course, as delta v goes towards zero, that will go out, and you'll simply just get the v squared. And that is the quotient rule.